Active Excessive Gaming Channel and Farm Simulator 2017. This is our Let's Play series here on the West Coast and today we are back with episode number 11 so if you could quickly drop us a like it would be much appreciated and of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So we're going to jump into the uh, Lizard Pickup TT. We're going to head off up to the uh, sheep farm first for today's episode and uh, yeah what we need to get done up there is of course make sure the uh, sheep are adequate oh, we're crashing up there we go dry properly uh, yeah we need to just make sure that the sheep are of course happy fed watered etc Head on down there. We are, of course, on uh, day four, mid spring. The next two days is, of course, going to be the uh, late spring. And we do, of course, need to get some uh, crops planted. We're all over the road. We really can't steer today. I think it's uh, because we've uh, been playing uh, State of Decay 2 and uh, yeah, trying to drive in that is nothing like driving in this at all so uh, yeah, you'll have to excuse the driving at the moment as we settle back into a rhythm of course looks like we're following all these cars You can see on the left the uh, grass field that we planted up, that's growing nicely. We will be able to uh, cut and bale that up relatively soon. Turn left here into River Rock Farm. What we're going to do is just park that there, I think. It's out of the way, it's uh, not like it's needed at any point. What on earth is happening here with these uh, containers? This thing seems to keep bouncing around as every time we uh, come onto the game. It was over at this door here. Interesting. But uh, yeah, let's uh, make a start. We need to tidy up the animals first. So we jump into the uh, Valtra for that. Whoops, there's the camera, there it is. Have to excuse that. And yeah, as you can see, they have no food at all. Definitely will get them fed today. Up. That course can all go straight back into the trough. And yeah, we need to give them some bowels as well. So, where did we put the bow spikes? That looks like the pallet forks. Oh, it's on the. Uh, it's on the uh, new Holland there. The T6 was stuck on the post as well now, blimey. It's all going wrong today. So yeah, we'll give them a couple of bells. Not sure if we can carry two or not, but we'll try it. Both on the spikes, just. So yeah, it's uh, very well balanced on there. But uh, there we go. Bounce 
balanced in there nicely. Put that one on that side. We can have a quick look at the animal menu, of course. Yeah, that's filled their hay and grass bar right back up. We've just cleaned them up as well, so that should be them happy there. It is just uh, topping some water up now. As we, whoops. As we've got the uh, Joskin water bowser just here. Might as well top them up. It's not uh, massively full. 669 litres in there. Yeah, soon swallowed that up. Could definitely do with some more, so we need to, of course, top the water up. Where is the refill point on this map? Is it the uh, blue bowser just there? Water. Appear not. Hmm. So where is the water point on this map? There is a little hydrant there. So whilst that one fills from the uh, hydrant. What is this one over here then? It says H2O tank. 3,200 litres of water there, just at the bottom. So that's definitely a water tank. Curious as to what that is meant to be then. We've got the uh, water bowser here. Water not, uh, warning not drinking water. We are not drinking it, the sheep are. Hopefully it uh, won't kill our sheep. This second trough here needs filling up. Let's fill that one up. Let's fill that one up. Maximum capacity for three days. Oh, yeah, that's fine, apparently. Must have already hit the uh, unload button. Never mind, never mind. It's now full, which is what we was aiming to do. Being. What we are going to do today is, of course, uh, some grass cutting. We're going to get some more bells prepared. And we do want the uh, let's, uh, sort ourselves out. Right, bell spikes can be dropped off here. We don't need those. Leave that there. Those mowers out on the uh, New Holland. So let's get this Veltra moved away as well. We pop there out of the way. Like I say we don't need that at the moment. So jump back into the uh, New Holland. We are going to get rid of the uh, front load apart as well. Because we have various bits of kit here. Let's move this baler out of the way. Should be 
be able to hook it up on the front. It's not got the linkage on the front, apparently. It's all going wrong today. So let's put this uh, out of the way here. Okay. Seems to be a day of uh, yard shunting, I think. Moving around the farms and a bit of yard shunting. Let's crack on. Here we go. Get the uh, front mower on. is the Pottinger Novacat uh, 302 I believe it is it's all going wrong today there we go and that's the rear mower on which of course we want to fold up otherwise we're not going to fit through any gateways so let's finally have a look at the map Put the grass on and turn it to the growth stage. And as you can see, the fields, in fact, they are already 81, 80, 79, and 78 are all ready for cutting. And we cut one just here because we've previously done that. So head on out. Okay, up there. Let's start cutting these three fields here today. So here we go. Finally, get ourselves underway of course. So we're going to unfold the mower. We're going to unfold that front mower. We can of course turn that on and lower it down and then turn on the rear one and lower that down as well. And off we shall go. So it is going to be a little bit slow process getting up and down the fields. Obviously it's the uh, power that we're running. As you can see, once you're on uh, relatively even kill, it uh, speeds up. around the field twice that will effectively give us four headlands straight forward up and down the fields Head uh, up and down the longer edge now.
yeah, relatively straightforward jobs, up and down, cutting the grass, not too much uh, grief. Not got uh, any real obstacles to go around, so yeah, it's pretty really straightforward. That is that field done. We can lift that up, turn that off, fold that one up, and the same with all the front one. Don't want to, like I say, cut too much grass all in one go. But we do want to uh, keep a good flow. I think what we'll do actually is leave this one in this paddock just here. later on we might as well use the Valtra just to uh, do the tedding I think better to connect up just that one piece of kit than all that uh, other bits and pieces so what we'll do is Drop that bucket there. So pick up the tether, and of course, uh, right straight out to the grass field. So the reason we're running around the edge, as opposed to just going straight across is to obviously reduce the amount of damage we do to any of the grass don't want to uh, damage any of it so we'll unfold that tether there to uh, do this one in rows, this can just go straight round. I'm getting confused with uh, the windrower that we can use. That of course is better to do straight rows first and then a smaller uh, ring round the edge. for a second it's a nice straightforward job today a bit of grass cutting a bit of uh, tedding up and down the field Flicks the grass up into the air, allowing the air to get in to the damp grass, of course. And that's what's drying it out. And of course, as everybody knows, dry grass is hay. Still get those 
these uh, people that will call hay straw and straw hay. So that is uh, that job done. So next up, we'll quickly windrow this together. Up the uh, windrow. There we go. And can of course unfold. Turn it on, lower it down, and of course we can do that straight row, just there. Lift it up, turn it off as we just turn around. Lower it down, turn it on, back up the other way. So as we just finish off this row here we might as well go round the edge of the field as well. Get that bit of white stuff on the outer edge there. that is another job done. So we can of course fold that one up now, as you can see. It's all done then. Take the windrow back and I think we will call it a day for today's episode. Yeah, 
I think uh, we'll call it a day. It's a few things have gone a bit wrong today, and yeah, it's uh, been a bit of a disaster episode. So uh, let us know your comments, your feedback. How do you guys think today went? But uh, drop your comments down below. But anyway, that is going to be it. I'm stuck on the bloody post as well now. So, that is going to be it for today. I'd like to say, hopefully you have enjoyed today's episode. If you have, remember to drop us a like, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new, of course. And if you could share this video with family and friends or anybody else that you think may enjoy it, it would be much appreciated. But like we say, thanks for watching, and bye for now.